Good morning, this is the Zipper Lady, and I'm going to teach you how to make a little pouch out of zipper yardage this morning. They're really simple to make. It takes about a yard and a half or two yards of my zipper. Of course, I use my zipper. It's the zipperlady.com, and this is number five coil for both upholstery and bags. And so if you're making bags and you have a little extra leftover, the really all you need is a yard and a half. Um, I have tried it with a yard and a half and I've tried it with two yards. My own personal preference is two yards, but whatever is left over is very cool. And so this is how it gets started, is that this bottom right here is the width of whatever your pouch is going to be. And then you're going to put the pull on come around and just stitch down the length of the two zippers, putting them together until you get to the top. That's it. This little darling, instead of being a rectangle, it's a rectangle until it gets to the last loop at the top. And if you, instead of making it a rectangle this way, if you run out of zipper, you can make it a little triangle, like this. It's basically made the exact same way, it's just finished differently. So we're going to start with the bottom, and I'm going to show you a couple of different methods for the bottom. They come out the same, it just, honestly, it has everything to do with how you want to do it. Isn't that cute? And I'm going to use two different types of zipper, or rather colors. So I'm going to use, oops, I'm hung up on the camera. Um, I'm going to use green and blue. And I'm going to start off with the blue, and I'm going to double it back on itself, and I'm going to do it from the inside, just like this. Okay? Let me sit down at the handy dandy Bernina. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so you can see it. And I, my light for my sewing machine has a tendency to make it glare. We're going to put it over there so you can see a little bit better. So basically there's an inside and outside to a zipper. The zipper runs on the coil, and the coil is what I consider the right side of the zipper. And so we're going to start on the wrong side of the zipper. So the coil is going to be right here. We're going to start with about six inches. And I figured out to make this little triangle right here that I need about three quarters of an inch. My own personal preference is, is to do it on the insides to start it. I just think it looks a little bit cuter. So here's three quarters of an inch. And I'm also going to pin it. I hate to say it, but I'm making slip covers, and so I think all the pins are in my slip covers. So I'm just going to do a little back stitch right here, and then I'm going to come down, give myself a little bit to hang on to, about a half inch, three quarters of an inch on the other end. And the real problem, the only problem that I have had doing this, is when I'm starting to get my needle in there to get both the top and the bottom zipper tape. because it wants to shift because of the coil being on the inside. So I'm going to just put my needle down, get rid of the pin. Whoop! That went too far. The very first one I do, I do with long stitches, just so that I can rip it out if I need to.
so I think I'm still in pretty good shape down here. So I'm just going to open this up and put the pin in it like that to finish it up. And I kind of want my zipper to go out in a nice round. Looks pretty good on the other side. And just so I don't run over the, the coil, which I don't want to do, like that, that'll keep it the zipper pull from going around. And so I'm going to pull these back a little bit. I'm actually going to just pull this out. So you don't want to go over the coil of the zipper. I'm just going to hand roll this because I have a tendency to go really fast. And my foot does not know slow. I'm just going to go over it a couple of times just so that it's there. Alright, now we're ready to start on the other side. So now we want to put on a pull. And so you need the opposite side of the other half of your zipper. We're putting the pull on like this. And you just want this side to go in until it stops, hang on to it, jiggle it down, and it's on. So now all I'm going to do is, is I'm going to sew here and then I'm going to come down this other side. So when I put the needle in, I put the needle in just before I stop stitching. And then I'm going to gently pull this around, fold it in, pull it around, give it enough tape so that it's not tight. And then we're going to just go on down to the other end. And basically, I, the tape has a weave pattern that changes. So I'm just lining it up, and then I'm going right on the edge of this other side of the green, just to keep it kind of straight. Now when I get to here, I have to see what it's doing, so I have to zip it up. Oops, we've got threads on the inside, we're going to clip those. And I'm also going to clip off the ends of the zipper tape here. Okay, very cool. It's pretty close to being a triangle. And I had a blow blowout over here. Blowout. 
So if I was giving this as a gift and this just wasn't a test run for me, I would, yes, pull out the threads. But since it's just a test run, I'm just going to go back over the top of this. But first, I'm going to zip it up a little bit further just to see how cool it looks. So it's very, very close to a triangle. So I think I'm going to stop right there for right now. And I'm going to go over to the other base that I do so I can show you how that base works real quickly. It's really similar. Instead of doing it on the inside, like this one is, we're going to just double it back on itself and top stitch it. So I'm going to grab two yards from my stash. And I have found from doing these that it's better if I just cut them off the same length, um, frankly, so that I know where to end. And I'm splitting This is like a neon. So I'm splitting this guy. And instead of doing it on the inside like I did the last one, we're going to top stitch on the outside. But I'm going to do that same three quarter inch thing up at the top. Okay. And then I'm going to fold it down and I'm going to sew over that and then just top stitch it down to where I start to put my pull on. And honestly, you know, it's kind of half a dozen of one and six of another, what you like. You can also sew all of the inside of your pouch, or the length of your pouch, rather, on the inside. But you're going to get started with this and realize how much fun it is, and you're going to invent your own ideas on how to make this work. So I'm just doubling them over like I did on the last piece. I'm going to come down to within about a half inch of the end. And then I'm going to pick a pull, put the pull on, round it side on first. Let me go get another piece of zipper. Tuck this in. Hold on to it. Jiggle it on. Okay. And then you're just going to make the little miters over the top just like we did before. I really do think that this is a great uh, bag for little kids to make if they're just learning how to sew. Or for Christmas presents for the grandkids. I've been thinking about trying to make a, a Christmas sock like this too. I thought that would be really cute, starting at the toe and being able to unzip it or zip it up. I hate to say it, but I'm going to have to probably get rid of some of these threads. Because they're black, I can see them worse than if they were the same color as the fabric. So here's the, the dark green one and the light green one. So now I'm going to set this down, set my foot down, pick it back up, tuck that darling in there, and stitch down. That's it. Isn't that exciting? It's so simple. It's so much fun. It's so quick. So, 
you're just gonna sew all the way down just like we've done. However, I'm gonna switch right now because the other little green one I made, wherever it is, is right here. And so I wanna show you how I finish it. And the way I finish these guys is I sew it until I'm twice the width of this bottom. So if it's six inches until I'm about 12 inches from the end of my shortest zipper. And then what I do is, is I put a pin right here and a pin right here so I know where to end it. And I zip this up like this. And I realize that where this other pin is, I need to tuck both of the, the zippers in. And then once I do that, I open it back up again and stitch it. So this is the end. And then all I do is a stitch across the blue, double it over, that same little pinch or miter down to here to three quarters of an inch. Do the miter here, go back and forth, and you're done. Now then, if you want to do this little guy, so it's a triangle, you just start a little bit sooner so you have this instead of this. So this is a rectangle and to make this all you do is, is you end it so it's a triangle instead. And you can stop a little bit sooner when you're sewing because see it's going to go together and it's going to be flat sooner. So this would be good if you just had a bit left. Same idea, you put a pin and a pin. The pin over here is where the guys end and over here is where the miter is. Just like that. Now then, what do you do with all the little leftover bits and pieces when you've done this? Or when you're doing other bags and you have leftovers. I had a leftover piece of denim from a slipcover and I just simply sewed these together. None of these have holes on them, so if you've got zippers in your um, workroom that you don't have any poles that will fit, use it here. The one that you've got the pull for, use up at the top. All I did was sew this all together. and stitch it onto the little piece of denim that I had left over. And I had a little extra denim left over, so I made a bottom. I put some ears on it. And all of a sudden I have a cute little pouch. Now the next one's probably going to have two zippers in it. The top one, that'll go all the way down into the pouch. And then I think I'm going to put one right here and put a little um, extra pocket right here. Or, gosh, oh, there it is. I had another piece of denim, and I had more pieces. And so I didn't have any poles that would uh, fit on this. But I thought, hmm, how about having this? so that I could carry my cell phone around my neck, or like this. So this is more used as fabric, and I'm just using up all my scraps. So I guess that's all for today. I hope this has inspired you to go out and make a few bags for your kiddos. You can get the yardage for the zippers, either number three or number five, and this is number five, so this is the bigger of the two. And I've used three and five in my little bag. So this is a three, so it's three millimeters across the closed coil. This is a five, it's five millimeters across the closed coil. 
So if you use the three, it just makes a more delicate bag. You can get it on my website, thezipperlady.com, or you can see me on Facebook for my next adventure down the rabbit hole to make more little bags. Have a great day, a great week. See you next week here. Ta for now.